If you're here about my call, why the hell do you need to talk to her first? She doesn't know what's going on. I would assume. You don't know what's going on, do you? Okay. I'm the owner. Yeah. So if police are going to show up in my place, I want to know what's going on. Well, I'd be glad to tell you about it, but like my stalkers haven't contacted you yet, have they? So, Colt, I'm going to let you talk to them. About Ooh, your first business, name, really? Right? And then I'm going to talk to them about my business. Okay? So I don't want... It's what you're going to talk to them about is confidential between you and them? Yeah, I called 911. Yeah, I got something going on. Are you here for me, though, yeah. or separately? No, I'm here for you. You're here for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll talk to you in a second. So mm -hmm. I'll talk to you real quick. I've got a table in there. All right. They don't want you in there. Oh, wait. Let's I'm being outside. trespassed? No, no, no. I'm not going to get you for trespassing, buddy. How, how can I be trespassed? Just don't want you in Excuse me. You're, you you are kicking me out for calling the police for help with the problem? Deal with me. Deal with him. Deal with me. You haven't said anything negative to me. I've got to stop touching me. Cold and I've got hey, a lot of expensive stuff in there. Okay, do you want to go get your stuff? Yeah, that's my that's laptop and my wallet okay. and all that. Go in. Let's grab your stuff. Go in and then get your stuff. Yeah, but you're going to deny me service because I have to report my stalkers. I'm a member of the community, a vulnerable member of the community, and I'm being attacked. And you're going to cause a problem over that? I, I'm not causing a problem over that, but you, if you want to My stalkers you, are, yes. Yeah, you now, but you didn't answer the question earlier. Have the stalkers contacted you? You're going to get your stuff. Oh, no answer. They have. You're going to get your stuff. Till right now so the stalkers have it was 6 p.m. yesterday the messages came in I just didn't notice that's my bad whoops but uh, it's what I'm dealing with so that's funny how someone calls 911 and instead of responding to the victim you go cause another issue Now we can talk, huh? Now that you, instead of coming to serve the vulnerable member of the community, you go and attack the vulnerable member of the community and cause me more distress to my personal life completely unnecessarily. Okay, what's going on, Tony? The stalkers have compromised my primary phone number and someone's sending mean? me messages to my phone number. Well, here, read it for yourself. Yeah, let me see the messages. Okay, so it's not a blocked phone number. You all can ID that. What they're saying is either gaslighting or the Troll Brigade Mafia's impersonation account is harassing someone. And then they gave them my personal information, my secret number, my, my guarded number, and they're attacking. So potentially like Colton Wood Vlogs or the real Colton Wood or one of the other fake 
anything with the name Colton Wood on YouTube is not me. Okay. Real easy to determine person. Maybe that's involved. I don't know. But this is my real phone number. It's a direct unblocked test me text message. I'm putting the, I'll put their fucking number on blast. Um, you all need to investigate this and see how my number was compromised and why people are sending me messages. Now, you note that uh, the number's from Florida, and I already looked up the number. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some name, Co Collins. Let me, uh, let me look at the photos because I, I screenshotted those. There's a name, Deborah Collins, in North Fort Myers, Florida. It comes back on that number. But one of my worst stalkers, one of the original Troll Brigade Mafia members, Robert A. Smith, known as Gardner Earth Guy. You remember Lou Stefano? Yeah. No, the dude is always in his chat. He's always there. Like when I was out at Lou's house yeah. and recording him, and Lou was saying how he wouldn't associate with Gardner Earth Guy because Gardner Earth Guy is a repeat offender, child beater, not raper. He be beats yeah. children, not rapes them, yeah. that we know of. Yeah. Um, turns out he was there in the comments on Lou's live stream right then and there. He's one of the original founding members of the Troll Brigade Mafia and one of the worst. But he was falling out with Richard like everyone does years ago right. and continues to harass me. That's the only person I know in Florida. I've never met the man. You I know nothing about them. They sent, you though? they sent this text yesterday. It was at 6, 6.42 p.m. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't notice till right before I called you. Well, actually, I called my probation officer first, but... What did your probation officer say? Didn't pick up. I sent her messages, left her a voicemail, did sent her screenshots. Rhonda Baker. Okay. Okay, so I already sent all this to her. Okay. I couldn't raise her, probably because it's Sunday. Right. Yeah, and again, there's a delay on this. Technically, that's my fault, but hey, I've got multiple lines. Whoops, but I'm doing all I can do. This is serious. They have hacked my phone repeatedly. They have sent me pictures of my GPS coordinates list showing where I sleep and where I work. Okay, Colton, though, how is that hacking your phone just by sending you a text message? how they know what number to send it to? There's a billion combinations to enter in the number pad. How the fuck did they know what number to send it to? I don't know, because they know it's you, and they're just saying, stop harassing us. Right, so I'm, that's like I just indicated, it's either gaslighting, yeah. because they've been harassed. Just like uh, when, when Lou Stefano came and sat which, down in front of me okay. over here at Taco Bell, he told you all I've been harassing him for years and years, okay, and which, it's the exact opposite. I don't know who these people are. They keep bothering me, because I'm a libtard okay. and a vulnerable individual of the community. Okay. Okay, I... It, so it's either... Law, harassing messages is this is not on YouTube you kept bitching about YouTube this ain't YouTube this is my personal that, phone number that, I have received communicate a direct message from someone that's either designed to intimidate harass okay. or annoy me okay Colton you received and that, it's not blocked you, you can look and find out who you, this is you received that message last night you said well, I became aware of it I became aware of it right before I called you right but you received it last night and yeah. since then you've only Well, so I'm over here looking at the salty rant, uh, and he has some new videos up about me. And Gardner Earth guy is there, uh, uh, and this one uh, I know that you see Colton no PP Wood there. And you see how he's got a screenshot of me from in jail, and how the the jail information says that you're not supposed to use that information to harass the in inmates or their families. Mm -hmm. So he's violating that. That's his screenshot his video about me now keep in mind he deletes all of his videos after three or four days or nine to ten days something like two weeks maximum yeah. okay he's been doing this for seven years and when i copy the video and post it on my channel he flags it under the copyright things and wow. when, when i do when i do it now when i do an appeal on that i can win however what he was doing when i did the appeals is he call you guys and have you guys come to my campsite and take me 5150 so he had the opportunity to flag freely yeah. and he got it and got the channel but guess what i came back and i typed out my own legal brief and i filed the act acted like i was a lawyer and filed a brief with um google okay, and i won and got the channel back okay Colton, what would you like me to do because that is not enough to investigate there, uh, there there has been seven years of continuous abuse they have told me they are watching me right now and when the sun goes down they're going to come with a group of men and rape me and feed me my own shit off their bloody cocks okay. they've impersonated me at length and that ever happened? No, but when's the shoe gonna drop? And plus, harassing messages yeah, with the intent to annoy stuff. Do they actually have to gang rape me before there's a fuck? Like they just caused me to lose my local coffee shop where I can get work done. Colton, 
It's because you freaked out about these things. I didn't freak out. I called 911. I've documented every word. So you, do you think a local coffee shop wants police showing up because of this incident? I'm a vulnerable individual. I'm being stalked. I want to be in public right now while I'm waiting on the police to come because I don't know what's going to happen. Remember, this is the crew where he came up and sat down right in front of me and I had no warning. He had live streamed it all day. If I've been aware of it, he was live streaming, stalking me all day. I just, you know, yeah. they tell me after the fact. So I didn't know until he sat down right in front of me. And this is a gun collector. This is a knife collector. His mm -hmm. other video up on his channel, I, I have video standing with him there cop there, me here, and him telling a cop I have a gun, it's right here. And he constantly talks about how he's a Second Amendment uh, advocate and his icon's a gun. He's got video of him yeah. shooting. He's an alt-right militia member. And his, and his other video up on his channel, he's talking about doing a weapon trade with someone and the deal going south. Um, that's just his other shit going on. He's fighting with some Facebook group over a knife trade. I don't know, but the dude's clearly armed. And we're, we're what now, like 600 yards something from where he sat down in front of me? Like, it's, <clears throat> how long do we have to wait before we take action? This isn't a blocked number. What if you, did you write this number down? Yeah, no, I'm going to. Yeah, it, it, that's important because we can call them and ask them. I haven't called them. I looked up the number on Google, but I'm not stupid. I'm not going to confirm that's my number. Although this video is going to blow that. But there's no question. If they, got, if, they, if they can send me a fucking text message, they already know. I'm already blown. I'm already compromised. Fortunately, I have a backup phone in my other hand. But that's, this is my primary number. This is linked to my business accounts. This is with my financial stuff, my bank. This is serious. This hey, is... the phone number again? Their number is 239-980-3023. It's coming back to a Florida number, and Deborah Collins came back on my search, but that's yeah, not the same like type. Yeah, but so. you guys can do a more comprehensive search right. than that. And again, I dare not call the number. You guys can call the number and okay. try. Okay. Yeah. Is that a Ferrari? So am I going to get a chance to talk to her without you guys or because this is kind of ridiculous and she knows about you guys do the thing with Dason and trying to kill me for being a faggot. She had my back with that two years ago. She, she doesn't know what's going on. I find it strange. Who are you, by the way? I just know she were with him. Like, right along. He's but not, you. He's not a cop. He's just a Mm. Well, what should, well, uh, like, uh, any chance you have anything to do with police accountability or just a ride along? Not... Alright, Colby. That's going to be the incident number. Okay. I'm going to look up this number. I'm going to try and give them a call, tell them not to contact you any further. Too. Yes, but you also need to make sure that they don't think I'm harassing them because I Colton will. Wood Vlogs is sending them pictures of child porn or something, which I is will. all things they have done before. Okay. I'm going to talk to them about all that. I know, I know your whole story, Colton. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they, I became aware. Um, I, all I did was call my probation officer right before I called you guys. Became aware my new number is compromised. Or well, actually, it's my prim my primary number is okay. compromised. Hey, Colton, for something like this, I know it's a big deal to you. Don't call the nine one one number though. Thank you. But what if he's got yeah. eyes on and watching, and I don't know? If there's someone in person. If there is someone here threatening you. That's a 911. He call. did that just recently, but right over there. Know, but I'm saying right now, though, this what happened today. You realize there was a text message, and you called 911. I'm just saying, don't call 911 again. Now you mentioned earlier that I'm on probation. Do you know why yes. I'm on probation? It's because I was at the coffee shop over there, even closer to my storage unit, and they called there and caused a problem. Do you see the similarities? What if they got eyes on right now? I don't, I, don't, I don't know that. I can't answer all those questions. It, it's a, I, if I'm concerned for my safety. These okay. people intend me harm. And whether they can do it remotely, which they've done, they successfully yeah. caused me harm now. And I want to ask you about that. Can I get a chance to talk to this woman? She doesn't want you here because it's interrupting business. Yeah, I want to talk to her anyway. She doesn't want you to talk to her. And that's her right. Can you ask her to come talk to me? 
I can ask her, but if she says no, then you just Okay, you can't, but I, I fucking need this spot to work. They, they're driving me out of every place I go. They call. They they can track where I go, so they call every store I go to. Yes. Every in and out I go to. Every jack-in-the-box I go to. They call them and tell them that I've changed my name, and I really am Richard Crown making Saul pedophile, and I've raped a bunch of kids, and I've escaped from the FBI. Okay. Okay. Deep breaths, man. I need a place to deep. work and okay. live. Okay, deep breaths, man. I've done nothing wrong. This isn't a joke. I'm compromised. The stalkers have I'm I'm on the other side of the the business center from the place where Lou walked up and sat down in front of me. Okay, and Florida, well, Lou's biggest buddy is gay, Gardner Earth guy, Robert A. Smith, the known child beater from Florida. So maybe today's the day they do it again. It's the weekend. I think it was the weekend last time, right? Because he works and he he gets weekend days off. He did his what? What do you call it? Hunting. Oh shit! That looked like him right there. That looked like him. Um, what do you call it? Bigfoot hunting. He did that on the weekend last time. It's Sunday afternoon. I have no way of knowing, but I do know this: that, like, what if I was asleep and he came at me? And of course, I was looking for Geg on on the comments on his videos right now today. I'm not seeing Geg there today. But that doesn't mean that one of these other accounts, these do people do impersonation, have hundreds of sock accounts, fizz, shenanigans, fitness gaming. I recognize, and he's one of my. He's stalking me. Nine King Nine will not return village. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing. They're talking about the knife form and gun form. This is the, the shit that went south and Lou doing a weapons deal. No idea what's going on there, but that's more recent than the, the two videos. He's got um, updated in Colton, Colton Wood, no, no PP Wood, and um, he's here mocking me, claiming that I'm turning trans for being... Uh, Held in the women's jail, which is just the fucking name. Oh, um, there's Gig. Like I said, Gig is always around on Lou's channel, right? I had to look at two different, two different videos before I found him. Okay, um, I'm not seeing anything live. Nine months back, this isn't his current channel then. September 10th, 2015. I believe that's the original channel. His main account. But he has sock accounts by the hundreds. And all I'm going on is Florida and my my search of the number that's sending me messages. And that's one of two things. Gaslighting or... Um, they're harassing them in my name with accounts with my face and um, status. And you all see what's going on here? They're throwing me out because I had to report my stalker. My Nazi pedophile police brother stalker that the cops won't do anything about due to nepotism. I mean, Matthew Richard Crowell, Megan's Law pedophile. He rapes a lot of kids. He's a cop's brother. He's under protection. He formed a domestic terror group. Oh, okay. she want oh wow. Okay, so I'm fucked off out of another... I assume that's permanent, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm fucked off... Closing in two weeks. I yeah, I that. happen to know that. Yeah, already. But some of the, the, the other... She used to be cool with me. Some of the other employees were cool with me. I need so, a space to work. I live around here. So this she, is the next... Remember the the the, sto- the coffee house next to my storage unit? My stalkers got me banned from it. This one's the next one further away. 
So she said that it's she's had actual customers come and complain about you being in there because you make them feel uncomfortable. Oh, that I believe. That's yeah, I'm fucking a giant psycho, ugly, stinky, whatever. That, I didn't say that cold. Yeah, that's that's actually legitimate. Yeah, so the poor man. Okay, owner. fuck, whatever. That's that's so yeah. But but specifically for me reporting my stalkers as a vulnerable member of the community, that I would have a problem with. But hey. Fat ugly dude. Eh. Okay. Fuck. Whatever. That's that ain't shit. Um, but they are closing in two weeks, like you said. So that extra grinds my fucking gears. But then if they get if they, someone else opens up here, that that trespass goes away, right? Okay. Good. Because I really need a fucking place to work. I have my laptop. That's what this is. I've got. I'm, I'm rocking three thousand dollars. Like a different city. You always stay in Lake Forest. My storage is right there. I know, but you right next to those to other Starbucks. Starbucks. Fix that Starbucks. I'll go back there. So that way I can go put my $3,000 computer up. I've got an even more expensive computer now. I can go put it up when I'm done. I don't like walking around with this. It makes me paranoid as hell. Right. And plus, I got the phone. I got a new phone, flagship phone. I got a $1,000 phone, $3,000 laptop. The bike in the shop, it's going to be back. Oh, wait. Which angle are you pushing on that? Are you trying to say my permit was yeah, never valid? Yeah, yeah. Why am I standing in the sun? Alright, Colton, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Well, I'm outside now, like... No, you can't be outside on the patio. You gotta go. <laughs> Technically, Colton, I'm being real with you. The property manager for this entire property has a trespassing... It's the same guy as from the other yep, upper rock. Same person. <laughs> so I could take you right now if I wanted to, and I don't want to, Colton. So let's just leave for the day. Please. I'm outside. What, what more? I, I actually have to figure out what I'm doing from this point. And I'm carrying all this heavy stuff. Like I just said, I got all these electronics on me. Um, I actually do need to figure out what I'm doing right now. I can't sit out here. Go to the park for now. That's a public place. True. I, hang, I do hang out here a lot in the park. Um, the park. The, also, like, what about from the Domino's? Right there. There's tables and shade. That's technically this property you could, but if they call... The, I, I, I used to... Remember when the dude at the K8 salon that went out of business pulled a gun on me? Yeah. Okay, the people at Domino's had my back and like hooked me up with free shit and always did since then. That's been like three years now, but... If they don't call on you, that's on them, but if they do call on you, you never know too. What if it's not me showing up and another deputy comes and is like... But I have to be violating a law. I'm not violating a law. This one person has... I'm saying though that this whole shopping center technically... As a trespassing authorization. Um, that, that trespass, I've, I've heard, they told me more details about though. I have to actually be doing something wrong for that to kick in. You do not actually. Huh? No. They told me I could patronize any store unless the specific store had a problem. Nope. If you've been warned about it, then you can't be here. Technically, you've been warned. They told me that I could still patronize the stores, and as long as I wasn't causing a disturbance, I was I, fine I on the property. I spoke with the property manager about you specifically. Hmm. Oh. And, and he owns like all this yeah, stuff around here, all right? The foothill stuff, all the foothill ranch shopping centers. Uh, and he could might, maybe be getting into political discrimination stuff because it's from the protest back of the MAGA stuff. That is up to you. Like you took me to jail from the Walmart one, and then they didn't ever file the papers. That and is just, up to you, Colton. Yeah, you gotta go though for now, okay? Yeah, but you really need to follow up on the stalker thing, man. Gonna they're they're not gonna compromise my number and not follow up. Okay, I'm gonna call that number. Figure it out. You need to check with them and see what's going on because there's a pretty good chance. It, it, it's one of two ways: they're gaslighting or a Colton Wood account's harassing them and they're sick of it. Yeah. And considering how my stalkers are, the things they might say in my name, yeah. bad, real bad. Okay, Colton, let's go. Let's go. Have a good rest of your day. I got a feeling it's gaslighting, though. By the way, I, that's probably just gag himself. But that's letting him know. That's him letting me know they know my number and are in my phone. Now, what if a little kid walks out of that store and I just grab him and smack his head in the concrete right to fuck now? You see where you're fucking pushing me? What the fuck? The shade isn't covering these chairs. There's one around the corner. I just spent, Sasha made her give me my fucking money back. I spent $7 on a fucking coffee and tipped her. I shouldn't have fucking did that.
Oh no, it's not around the corner. The sun's in the wrong position, motherfuckers. Oh, it's all in direct sun. It's all in direct sun. Oh. Um, how much water do I have? Third of a gallon. The church. It's Sunday. <sighs> eh, I got business at the church anyway, so I'm going to go over that way. I'm going to bust them for the parking thing, whatever. 